Hey uh, folks, sorry about being very slightly late. I'm having a series of technical troubles. She's really annoying because I had some cool stuff set up. Ah, everything's wrong, not even the camera's ready. Right, uh, let's, let's work out what the fuck I'm doing. Um, jump screen, I'm guessing you can hear me. Um, <laughs> good to see you all. I will give you the big old roll call shout out in a second. I can just, if things would just work. Let's uh, get this over here. Takes a couple of seconds to start up. Well, that's fine. And go lift daft so we know where we are. Cool. Right, so just before the stream, I managed to get um, multiple audio output working so I'll be able to listen to stuff and you hear it at the same time so we're going to do audio but now for some reason i'm having troubles with the wi-fi here so um clearly like I'm, I'm running through cable for the um the actual uh stream uh feed so that's all working fine but something else has gone fucked itself up right the last second so yeah we will see what that's all about another time so sorry won't be doing sound today either but what we do have is a bunch of stuff to do so let's go have a look at that and shout at you people let's see who's lurking today in the gang as t twitch churns its way through so good evening ak karam khaki um darius electrical skateboard and finisol chimera and zymas really nice to have you here it's going to be a bit of a rushed uh, stream in a way today because well it's gonna be all over the place because the Lisp Game Jam is this is it this Friday it starts yeah it's this weekend it's on anyway so I'm starting on on Saturday and I want to use this tool so it's got to be in a slightly better shape than it has been um, so I did a bunch of boring work um, over the last week for those home gamers following along we are on the feature cleanup branch which I will be merging um, relatively soon uh probably after the stream actually um yeah we've just got a bunch of stuff to do so we're going to start doing that so this audio thing which is easy a second ago now can't be done because we can't download sound effects on this machine huh. but otherwise we are okay um the first thing well let's let's just see what, what you folks are all yelling about uh Shemera saying you missed ELS yes I did and it sucked I really uh I really really wanted to go this year especially considering the location and everything else and catching up with you folks yeah but the uh the I, I didn't I was pretty sure that the either I missed it somehow but I didn't see the uh prices for tickets until relatively late and because I'm, um, again, quitting my job, starting this little games company with a friend, I've really got to be on top of money this year. So that really sucked. So I just, it was too late, couldn't go. Uh, I said it should have been there to laugh at me when my talk went south. Oh yeah, I think uh, Zach said that you had a text error part way through the talk. <laughs> That's a fucker. Don't worry, I'll be breaking plenty of stuff here. And it's uh, preserved for eternity in YouTube. So it's, but hopefully no one will be looking. Um... <laughs> Darius apparently is up for killing himself, but not with Shimera because that's a bit too intense. Well, not for very long. That's all right. Um, Darius, thanks for letting me know about the audio and video. Good to know. Um, Vinosaur saying it's really nice to be able to use Twitch without any JS involved. IRC gateway and direct connection to video stream. Nice. Didn't know that was a thing. Um, Shamara saying won't be participating in the jam or Luden Dare himself. Thesis is killing me already. Yeah, dude, priorities. That 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 wins this time. Um And yeah. Let's um Let's get started. So first thing on my list of stuff to do apparently is delete this proto code, probably because I was just searching for stuff. It was old anyway, so that's done. Actually, let's just see what we've got around here. So we've got some to do's. Let's get rid of this. We'll come back to scenes in a minute. We're done with you. Uh, so finish cleanup. Okay, so one of the really ugly things we had before, as you can see, like the project has completely changed structure since last week. We had a type called actors, which is actually representing the kind of actor. So now we have a class called actor kind. Um, and yeah, things are just generally a bunch more tidied up than they were. 
Um, if we just jump back here, let's go to actor and the actor I wanted. Oh no, actually, probably an actor kind. Got to get used to where everything is again now. Yeah, I've uh, heavily refactored how we do defining actors, uh, so it's a lot more split up now. This is um, the uh, various macros just call out to this function for generating their code. Um, uh, things are a lot more kind of centralized. The spawn function is now generated. Um, is like um, the spawn is a method that is uh, specializes on the type of the actor, so we can do more things. It's it's generally just better laid out. I won't belabor going through all those details because otherwise we'll run out of stream time. But um, one of the things we do have to do still is that um, if I do bring up the actor class, let's go and have a look. Actor, actor. We can see that it currently holds the visual and the tile count and the animation length. But these are the, and the size too. These are the same for all of the um, actors. So all this stuff should live on the kind. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this and we're going to start throwing things around. Actually, seeing as, you know, nice to have something on the screen while we're doing this. Let's just set a set the clear color and load up the test project, which would have been in now in the test directory and it's test alien. Let's start that up um, this is from tinkering around the other day. I've slowed those down because I was doing some things that were causing them to go crazy. But um, yeah, you know, at least we got something kind of there to look at other than my face that's moving around. It's just, you know, better for the soul. Right. Um, so now visually is gone from there. I guess we're just going to have to go through and see what this breaks. Um, and it's just going to be a lot of grepping and and working with us. So let's start. And it's one of these streams where it's awesome if you guys are chatting and just throwing shit out. It doesn't have to be related to the stream. We've just got a lot of chuff. A lot of chuff. A lot of chuff to stew through. A lot of stuff to chew through. Um, it's one of those weeks we just got to get a bunch of stuff done. So, yeah. So if we look at the kind. I would like the to have a kind method. Um, on the actor for accessing this. Um, do, 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 when attempting to blah blah blah, the visual is missing from the object. Yes, of course, we've just redefined um, all the actors. Uh, now they don't have a visual, loads of code is breaking, which is excellent because um, I've just seen other bugs. Excellent because it will tell us some of the places that uh, we need to address first, and then we can clean up the others. So, visual here. Um, we're just going to get the kind from the actor, and that's going to be, yeah, that's that one. Uh, we also see an error printing frame here, which means the print object definition for something around here is borked. And seeing as it doesn't look like it's these, it's going to be actor kind, which is... Let's get kind up again. Print object, apparently, what is there to get wrong there? Like really? It's just, we're getting the name from the actor kind. Does this not have a name? Ah, it doesn't have an init form. So I suppose if we're not defining the name for the actors, that's interesting. Um, Let's just temporarily do this, which I'm hoping will uh, initialize all those. Let's go and look in here. Name is unbound. Oh, okay, that is that is our problem then. Um, yeah, fine. We'll uh, we'll fix those up. Where are actors defined? They are defined in the define actor kind class uh, uh, macro. So let's have a look in here. Gen actor class, which is down here. Here's our def class. Um, let's go and just set it up. Um, we're going to have a name with an init form, and this is just going to be name. We're going to wrap this around here, and now we're splicing the list in. So now, if we go back to test, where's test alien? There we go. 
and expand define god for example we should look at the class and see name init form god so cool that should be set up for that now um i don't think that's going to do anything if we redefine those but um nah. so we'll just fix up these names by hand for now what what was this anyway this was for the bullets um We're attempting to use blah 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 slot value to sample a texture 2D of the visual is missing. Okay, that's fine. That's what we expected. So reinit system state for alien. Oh. Jump there. Oh no, it's slot missing. <laughs> that's not what we want to jump to. We want to jump to here. Okay, that's in reinit system state is one of the methods that's generated by that define actor kind class reinit system state okay nobody's lemons good to have you here kind of looks like a slot um ak Karam is kind of referring to the type theory kind no not at all this is just too much name overloading and programming in life. Um, <laughs> Mfiano says, boo! Are you booing me in general, or is this a surprise I'm a ghost kind of boo? Clarify your boo, sir. So that one thing that is bloody boo, though, is the fact that um, CLSDL... Two is broken um, in SBCL right now, which sucks. That's really annoying. We're looking into it. We've got a smaller reproduction case now. Uh, it's not just the LSDL2. It's something related to a high Sierra upgrade that's causing um, some UI-related FFI calls to fail in horrible ways. But only in SDL. You can take the same bindings and same library and they work fine in CCL, ECL, fine. You know, yeah. Well enough in each CCL, ECL. But that's not where most Lispers are. Most of them are in SBCL, and it's the fastest ones where I want to be writing games. So, bah. And that's only a Mac. Right, what am I doing? Okay, reinit system states is here, and it's to do with... Okay, so we're going through... Oh, you might have to hit this now, then. Um, so every time you recompile... Um, an actor it is going to where is the call um, it's going to push a call to uh, reinit all actors of kind onto the tasks for the next frame and all this does is cause uh, reinit private state the actor and reinit system state for the actor um, I've split those in two just that's what made sense to me when I was tidying things up I might unify them later no I have a split them up for a reason actually though it is helpful to have them separate due to reusing code for initialization. But um, now a bunch of things are living on the kind itself. So we need a reinitialize re kind method. Um, so let's go down to where we generate our reinit methods. Here. Def method reinit kind. And we're going to take kind, which is of um, no, it's not going to be of that. Ah, that's interesting, actually. Hmm. So we've used the name of the um, actor kind as the class name for the actor. Um, kinds in general. Let's uh, look at this actor kind. It's just a class. We don't subclass this anyone. There's a bit of a bummer in this case because now we want to have a method that specializes on this. Um, I mean, how many is there going to be? We could just loop through the list. Um, let's have a think. Visual, tile count, anim length. Hmm. Um, I think this might be something we clean up later. Right. Um, 
reinit kind defun uh, kind name is whatever, and what they're going to pass in. What are they going to pass in? No, because we actually. Hmm. No, we we want to do this. All right, scratch it. We're going to have to make things worse before we make them better. Kind name is going to be um, a new symbol. Um, and it's going to be assembled in the same package um, as whatever name this is. So take name and get the symbol package from it. We are going to make a new name, which is going to be this hyphen kind. Um, that'll do for now. And then we are going to generate a new class, def class um, based on kind name, and it is going to inherit from actor kind. And that's it. We don't need to change anything else right now. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, except everything's wrong forever. Oh yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, I actually need to put the uh, name in here, and then everything will be fine. Most of those warnings were just because this couldn't compile. Loads of other things were just never going to be reached, so a bit spurious, but never really a problem. Um, Enfiano says 105 jam registrants so far. Holy shit, dude. I didn't know there were 105 people that gave a shit. That's really cool that <laughs> everyone's turned up. That's that's great, man. Um, cool. Where are we? So, okay, we made a class. Um, then what we should actually do now is... Uh, We've got actor kind. Where are they? I think they're only instantiated here, but let's have a quick look. Make instance, uh, and we'll do that from the right directory. Grep make instance. Um, we instantiate some public state. We instantiate a name, and we instantiate um, yeah, actor kind. Okay. So, oh, this is kind of just a bit uglier than I want it to be. Da, 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 da. Because basically, when we spawn, we specify the kind of thing we want to spawn and we call make instance on that. Really, we should be. Hmm. The, uh, the the way we should really do it, which is kind of annoying, is that um, the name that we provide for the actor um, kind is used on this class. And then we generate an actor name. Um, and then we use that. It's going to... But it, the problem is... So either we can have the... Um, we do a little fuckery which makes spot which makes instantiating kinds slower, or we do some fuckery that makes um, instantiating actors slower. Now we're gonna have hundreds of or tens of thousands of actors, instances of actors, but only a few kinds, like a handful of kinds. So there's no point optimizing for that case. So it, no, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna do it this ugly way. We're gonna take this. Be fun. Kind name, um, that kind class name for kind name is this. Whoops, this. Um, kind name, kind name. It will be slow, but it doesn't matter. And we could also do actually, like, we could take this and do it this way here. Um, and we could do it 
Nah, fuck it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do it this way. Just complicating things. Don't need to be complicated. Name. Okay, cool. Um, I put a P here for some reason. That's noisy. Um, and that means now that when we um, make an actor, we have to have its name and then we look up its uh, class name which means this is going to have to take name which means we can look up where this is called from just get actor kinds oh it's right here and so we pass some type and that's it that should work and then all of them are going to have um Actually, we ah oh man, <laughs> I just realized that we can we can do this slightly better as well. Uh, we can just do def method um, Do we want to do that? Nah, we'll clean that up later. Clean that up later. We don't need to think about this so much. Let's just keep going. That's me talking to myself, not you guys. I'm sure you're quite happy to go on. It's just me that's. Must get it right for some arbitrary reason. Um, okay, so we defined actor. Um, visual and stuff is now defined on there, which means we need to carry on looking for um, wherever visual was used. Oh, yeah, let's just uh, tell it to continue and see where it breaks. Ooh. Oh, visual, perfect. Yes, of course, re init system state. Um, that's what I was working on. Good. Okay. So then we got define actor kind um, in it. Okay. This is what I was partway through doing. So now we actually want the uh, kind, the uh, class name in here as well. So let's just pass that in. Class name. Um, class name. Wait a second, what? We call it kind name. No! Class name. Class name. That's what it is. Cool, so we've got the class name. This is now going to specialize on class name. And we're just going to take the things. So visual, size, tile count, and animation length are all going to go into um, reinit kind. And there's no other change I need to do there. And then we just need to make sure that when we're actually reinitializing, which I think comes in actor, which I'm not sure that really needs to live there, but whatever, um, is we get the kind and then we call reinit kind on that object. And then we spin through all the actors um, doing all the updates. The reason we have to do things in that order, other than it's kind of sensible, is uh, we're doing some, we're not pure, we're gonna mutate everything. Um, what we're doing is we're updating things like the tile count and animation length, which is then used to um, update the individual actors in case their frame. If the animation used to be longer and then we've shortened it, but some of the actors are out here in one of the frames we've now removed, uh, this code is gonna pull them back into the right, to a valid place at least. Um, the same goes, so animation frame and state are both important there. Um, I don't think we use, like, so size doesn't matter, anim length doesn't matter, visual doesn't matter anymore, and tile count won't matter, will it? No. Cool. Coffee, because what I need is more caffeine. Habermax is saying it's painful to watch you switch buffers. Sorry, dude. Yeah, it's one of these streams today that, uh, like, I, I would like to move slower, but it's just, like, this is, like, prepare for game jam. So it's it's one of these things I think is probably a bad idea to stream this kind of content anyway, but it's what I've got right now. So you'd have to s just deal with it. No, it's, um, thanks for telling me. I do appreciate it, and I, I sympathize, <laughs> too. 
Um, it obviously feels fine for me because I know where my fingers are going and I know where I expect things to land. But yeah, that, it's kind of garbage for, uh, for people who are watching. It's also funny because I know like half an hour ago someone put this on a list of like, it was like some guy was looking for streams to watch for people using Emacs that weren't tutorials and I, this got mentioned. So if anyone's new has <laughs> turned up, hi, it's not always this fucking incoherent. It, but normally, it, well, yeah, it got, kind of is. It kind of is. But normally it's just me being incoherent, not what's going on here. It's just me not being able to understand what's happening on the screen. That's always the problem. Um, okay, so... We've made such fundamental changes there that... We're going to need to restart soon anyway. So I'm not even going to bother um, trying to get that code to continue running. I'm going to carry on searching for visual and just see where it's used. So... It's used in radius, but we're grabbing that from a kind now, so that's fine. Um, the visuals views there, yes, that's good. Um, we're ge currently getting, yeah, this is one of the things that's stupid. When we were doing directors, we're having to pass in one of the actor instances because it's the one that had the visual tile count and size, which is dumb. But now we can pass in kind, kind. I want to put that there instead. I want to find places that called this. Um, Oh yeah, it's right below it. So this now is going to take a kind and not an actor. Um, and it's going to call that with kind and count and not actor and screen height and all that kind of stuff. Let's move these down to separate things. It's just not nice to read how it was. Cool. Um, this also calls... Wait a second. Okay, so. One at a time, Chris. So there were two calls to this, and it looks like both of them were here. This is the other one. Um, there were there's one call to this, which is um, here, which is in this file. So we'll deal with that now. We're going to pass in um, the. We must have the actor kind. Yeah, there's there's the actor kind here, so we can just pass that in actor kind count. We don't need this. Um, we are going to... What are we going to do next? Um, yeah, that's the only place that calls this. We wanted to update this as well, because this currently still takes an actor instead of... I'm saying kind. This should be actor kind to keep things consistent with everything. If I wasn't so ham-fingered, we could do that in one move, but never mind. Um... Yes, and slot value actor we don't need to do anymore because now we've got a kind accessor. And this now takes an actor kind, an account, and a world size, and one. There we go. Um, well, yeah, we're not passing that. That's stupid. We're just passing in the actor kind anyway, so we don't need to grab the kind. There we go. So let's see who calls this. Um, or we can just delete everything I had on the screen. That's a great idea. Um, oh yeah, it's this file again. So this one, act a kind, um, act a kind. This don't need this. Do need that. Good. Fine. Good. This one. This looks garbage too. Why are we using? So we're passing it actor kind and actor in here, which just is like, blah, rubbish. Um, and again, it's for the same stupid reasons. Where um, we can get this from the actor kind. And there is just too much stuff on these lines for you to be able to see them all. Problem is, they are under 70, uh, I think they're under 70 characters. Oh no, they're 76. Okay, never mind. Um, there's one good reason to actually uh, keep to that rule, even though I know there's plenty of people hate it. It's just, uh, it's nice for streaming. Talking of streaming, I was thinking about whether to um, stream the Game Jam stuff. Um, ugh, that's going to look rubbish if I do that. So, what we'll do is we'll do this. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I was thinking about streaming the Game Jam stuff, but, like, I work with one 40-inch screen that's over here. Um, and I'm currently using that in 1080p, which is, so I'm getting a quarter of my real estate, which is why everything's such a cramped mess. I really don't want to do that for while I'm doing the game jam. So it would have to be in 4K, because I've only got the one monitor. Um, but that's kind of difficult for streaming. I mean, I can downscale to 1080p to put on the thing, but then the text is going to be so small that I don't think... I don't know. Like, is that even... Is it worth streaming that? <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know if it is. So, um, yeah, let me know if you really want to see that. I might do something on Saturday. Um, but otherwise, I'll just... I'll just quietly hack my own. And that wouldn't be with a video feed either. That's just going to be me coding with some music in the background. Because it takes... It still takes me... Even after doing this for, like, what is it, like, best... 30 something episodes now it still takes like a significant amount of uh focus to be on camera at the same time um what now i've kind of lost track oh yeah we were in the middle of visual weren't we so let's go and update this and see where we are so visual here is now taking actor kind let's look at this one that's taking a visual that's coming from the actor kind Visual that's coming from the actor kind. Um, this is a visual, but this is in the um, the macro. So that's just keyword arguments. We don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about this, probably. Let's have a look. Um, gen actor class. Is there anything we need to know in there? No. Um, gen spawn? No, that's probably fine. Let's have a look. Reinit methods. Yeah, visual there. That's just the argument. <laughs> Slot of the actor. Visual. No, this is not correct. So, write per actor data. Oh, so we were doing this on every. Wait a second. Ooh, yeah, that's a bit gross. So, oh yeah, so this is working out if we're going to write the data in, the actor data into the instance buffer for rendering. So all the positions and stuff like this. Position and rotation, yada yada. And we were checking if it had a visual, otherwise it doesn't need to be drawn anyway. Um, what we'll actually do is just, we'll say, um, when... Act a kind visual. We can do this. And that's probably it. That'll be okay. And here we've got visual, which is actually in the class. That's great. Um, it's unlikely, but let's just uh, check the other guys as well. Ugh, maybe we won't. <laughs> that's a lot of shit. Uh, tiles is just the argument. That's, that's fine. Um, draw act as common. Actor kind, yep. That's uh, this is all dispatch, which we've already looked at. I think we looked at everything here. Let's just check. Um, yeah, visual tile count, yada yada yada. Define actor, that's fine. That's not going to be working on objects, so that's okay. That's just defining them. That's the definition of the class, and this is oh, this is a GPU function, so we won't be working with the CPU side types here anyway. So none of that matters. Um, yeah, these are all GPU functions, so that's cool. I don't think we need to check the others. It'll be pretty obvious. <laughs> They'll crash pretty hard if they're not there. So let's look at to do. Visual tile count and size from actor to kind. Uh, draw actors common then should take the kind, not a single actor. Both of those should now be done. We're not going to fix time step today because that is going to take... I'm going to have to pay attention to do that right. Um, so... I will, um, yeah, I'll do that off stream. Let's just restart the session and see what we broke. Because it's one of those times when we do so many refactorings like this, 
um, I don't know what other state is left around in those classes, and I'm not really any kind of class like the object system guru. I don't know how to dance in that system in a way that I can. I would feel that I would feel comfortable that I've cleaned up all the changes. So sometimes it's just better to drop the image, restart, and uh, and run again. <laughs> Mfiano saying I used two 4K screens with i3. Damn, that's nice. Oh. Yep, here we go. Good. Things are broken. Nice. What have we broken? Um, well, we can go to that file and find out. Um, source, act a kind god. I bought this and do that again soon. So, what have we got? It's complaining that... I wonder if actually we can just compile this and see if we get anything. No, okay. Um, def class for godkind. Oh, well, there's a little thing that already annoys me. Um, oh, come on, Chris. Type, type with words. Class name, class name, class name, class name. There it is. Kind class name. There we go. Um, okay, so... Oh yeah, I know why. Uh, we're just missing... We're missing the slot list from the class definition. So we just do this. Recompile. Um, abort that. Let's bring up the god file again and compile this. Now it's freaked out with other things. Um, undefined variable anim length. Cool. Where are we with that? That's going to be... Um... Oh, really? Oh, of course. I'm a Muppet. Okay, right. There we go. There's some very obvious problems. Define actor kind. Um, Reinit kind down here. Um, this needs a with slots for visual size tile count anim length and it's taking kind which can just do that three four and there we go so now we've got with slots around here i think that's okay let's abort this again come on now okay now we're not getting errors for that let's go see what other errors we can find that means nothing or at least very little. Test, test, alien. Um, huh, nothing broke yet. I'm gonna set that background color again. That will have a home soon. Oh, right, okay. Is this gonna work? No, oh, fuck me. All right, nice. Um, controllers, there we go. Sweet. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, look at this. There are goings on in this chat. Love it. Good to have you, folks. Like, this is cool. Um, I not have a max. I'm not quite sure on your comment about symbol completions, but it's definitely supported. I just don't have it turned on. Uh, because, oh shit, I'm opening things on the wrong machine. Uh, because, like, basically I've got a button that cycles through. There's two different kinds of autocomplete I've got at the moment. One of them is just textual. It looks in the file for sim or open buffers for similar looking strings. And the other one is, um, if I do control tab, it will try and autocomplete from Lisp. Um, between those two, I have enough that I haven't been bothered to go and set up anything else. Um... Yeah. But for that company mode, it's quite good. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of those things, and I really... I, I know I should probably take the time at some point to go and play with these nice tools that everyone has, but I just haven't... Uh... <laughs> 
Samaras has been hit by, uh, as correctly mentioned, just, well, you call them fucking fucks, but for moving PDFs behind an ACM paywall, they're a bunch of cunts. Bunch of scavenging fucking cunts, and the whole, that whole shitty industry should come down. I would be delighted to see that. Um, yes. AK Crown's talking about 4K screens working on Nix. Yeah, man, it's great. Um, I've got an older, like a 2013 MacBook, which is just eats shit on the 4K. It's just so slow. Um, but yeah. AK Crown's saying that he's having had driver problems with two separate video cards. Yeah. That's that's possible. I've actually I've I use um dual GPU in like a laptop from about I don't know six years seven years ago. It's okay, um, but I've got it set up so you basically have to yeah okay no it's it's not okay it's not it's not at the kind of level that it would be acceptable for any normal people. I just like being able to turn the which programs are using the second the uh, dedicated GPU on and off for battery life reasons. So I like it, but no, that's uh. Lawrence is saying, I'm unfamiliar. What is Rust? It's a different programming language. Um, and it's pretty fucking cool. Um, but you spell, yeah, like uh, Shimera, Shimera is uh, as, as insinuated there. Well, colorfully described. Um, yeah, there's a, it, there is a heck of a wall as you kind of get familiar with the uh, borrow checker and you learn to anticipate it. But it's pretty cool. Um... Shimera saying, why am I, aren't I loading with a voice? Because I don't... I, I, well, I just didn't feel like doing it. Um, that, that'll catch everything. That'll catch stupid things as well, which I'm just not interested in right now. I, I wanted to get that far. Um, love like subtext. Hello! Um, see, Shin, you're back and you're bringing people with you somehow. Just for maximum shitposting effect. I'm loving it. This is great. Um... Oh, uh, the what checker? Um, the borrow checker is a thing. Like, like you have a type checker to make sure that you're using the right types of values in different places. Like, like oh, you shouldn't pass an int to this function. They've got a thing that tries to track who owns particular data to make sure that um, you don't get into all the kinds of race conditioning stuff that you would otherwise get to in threaded coding and all that kind of stuff. Also means they don't need a garbage collector because they know if no one owns it, they can tell at compile time when something is going to be disposed. Um, it's great. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty dope. But I am not a Rust coder. I do like the um, ideas in that language. I've been reading about it for a very long time, but um, like casually. But uh, I haven't used it yet because, man, I, I, you don't get the live coding stuff and I'm kind of addicted to that. But one day, one day, what am I doing now? I'll check the to-dos. To-do! Finish cleanup. Blah, 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 blah. Resize. Yeah, I should probably do that, but I can kind of put that off maybe slightly. So what I need to do with resize is the... Yeah, when we resize this view, we need to recreate the um, some of the FBOs, I think. What do we need to recreate, actually? Come to think about it. What is it that I'm meant to be so concerned about? Um, in it. <sighs> now it's only going to be textures and FBOs. We've got this world FBO, which is like the entire, like off screen as well, like a 2048 by 2048 region currently. Um, but that's uh, that's going to change soon, like in a couple of steps. So we're not going to worry about that yet. I actually don't think there's anything we really need to worry about right now on that front. So we won't do resize just yet. Uh, we'll think about that later. I don't actually. I don't think it's going to be necessary. Let's get rid of that for now. Profile. We're not going to do that just yet. Um, I've got to check if Keppel's profiler is still um, in good shape. I, knew, I know that this is um, just 
conzing like crazy. Uh, or just spending so much memory. I mean, look at this, actually. We will do, we'll do one thing really quickly. If we do, um... Ah, what is it? Daft? Stop. Right, and then actually, I did this the other day. Let's run 100 frames, and we'll just time them. Um... Look at how much fucking, like, how much memory is being allocated there. And the garbage collector has got to clean all that up. Stupid. So what we'll do is we'll go through and find out all the worst offenders um, at some point when I can be bothered. But that's not right now because it's not the best. I would like to use the profiler I built for Keppel because it's very fast and it's it's plugged into everything in Keppel in a good way. Um, but... That's, uh, yeah, it, I, I'm not sure what state that's in because I've left it for a few months, probably bit rotted a bit. Define scene. This is really important. We need to be able to have like the, me the main menu screen and then go into the game and then come out of that again. I want to be able to transition between different scenes. When you transition scene, I think we're going to just get rid of every actor. So if you want an in-game menu, you do that with another actor. Um, but if you want like completely separate levels or something, levels maybe... Yeah, whatever. But you'll do that with a scene. So, um... Let's just start that API. Actually, just before the um, show was starting to... Uh, I created the file so I could start sketching this out. So let's uh, look at what we would want to have um, in a scene. So let's uh, let's just define an empty macro um, that does jack shit at the moment. Um, so we'll just say, and, body, body, whatever. Um... And it's going to do nil, nothing. It's going to complain because we're not doing anything with it, but that's fine. Doing with the body. So now we can say define scene. And we can... Well, the scene's going to have a name. That's one thing we do now. It's going to have a name. Um, so... Main game. And in here, we're going to have to specify some things. Now, there are some things that we've still got as global values that have been globals for ages. And it'd be kind of cool to move them out. Um, so let's look at anything to do with world. So we've got world empty FBO, a world size, and a viewport which is based on that size. So basically, size is one of the things we could definitely put here. Um, 2048 by 2048, for example. Um, we can have... It would be nice, actually, I think I mentioned in the to-dos, it would be cool to get a, uh, a camera in here. Because at the moment, we've got this implicit camera that's at zero zero it'd be nice to actually codify that as something so um camera um start position or just camera position it's just assumed to be the starting position uh that's gonna be zero zero um, what else? The viewport can be calculated from the size and the empty FBO is the size of the world, so we can compute that from the size as well. So actually, those are the two things we definitely need. It needs a name, it needs a size, it needs a camera position. Now, if I'm correct, so there is a thing you can do when you're defining a function. You can go defun foo, and you can have keyword arguments like, uh, like A and B, for example. Um, Let's just print this out. List A and B. Foo, A is 1, and B is 2. And you can also say and rest args, and that's going to capture all of them uh, as a list. So if we do list um, arg, I don't know why I didn't pluralize that, but never mind. And now we can see that the result of this is all of the arguments and the two values that we're interested here. Now, I was reading that body should be exactly like and rest, um, ex other than it handles indentation differently. It, it tells the editor they can handle indentation differently. So I should be able to do this, and then do size and camera position. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because it will just mean that the indentation is nice here. I want this um, tightly tucked in there. So if I do this, let's just see what happens with indenting. Yeah, that's exactly how I want it to be. Nothing happened, which is right. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is I think if I do an rest here and compile it, the indentation... Oh, no, the indentation's the same. Ah, oh, sod it. I'm still going to use that. Okay, so this is going to be our... This is our macro. At the moment, it expands to nil, so we need to give it some life. 
Um, we're going to need a class to hold our scene information. So scene. Um, it's going to have a size. It's going to have what were those other globals that we were worried about? Um, we've got a size. We've got a um, the empty FBO. I don't need to call it the. Uh, I don't need to specify that it's empty, but it's to remind me that these aren't. This isn't an FBO with attachments. It just has a size, and we use that for the uh, collision trick that we did in one of the other streams. So viewport. We also need a viewport. And let's. Uh, And it arg is going to be um, this is one place where I don't know how to ah no I don't know I'm not always brilliant at this uh, multi cursor stuff I'm still trying to learn it so bear with me as I fumble my way through because I would like to be able to do that ah but it's still the trailing this okay I need some practice on that oh well. Still gonna do it. Gotta get the practice. Just gotta keep trying until we work it out. Now it's just not very good for that. Hey Shamara, when you're using multiple cursors, how do you jump to like the next white space, for example? Because um in normally you could say next, I think there is just next white space, or move white space or something like this. Oh, what is it then? No. Oh yeah, forward, not white space, that's it. You can do this, forward white space, and it just jumps to the next white space, which is great. But if I remember correctly, that doesn't work with, uh... yeah, it only moves one of the cursors, which is gash. I just use C, M, control, meta, F. Oh, control, meta, F. Oh, that just, for me, that just moved me yeah, control meta F just Okay. Let's try this. Control meta F. Oh yeah, that's that's exactly it. Thanks man. That'll uh that'll do nicely. Okay. Uh, it's gonna take a little while to get the muscle memory in, but it'll work. Okay, so we won't specify an init form. Um We are gonna have just a helper constructor for this one, which is make scene. Uh, we'll take a size and we will then be able to go and make instance scene. We're going to take a size, which is the size we passed in. We've got a viewport, which is, I think, in the init thing, we can see what this is. World viewport, here we go. Where is that specified? It's got to be initialized somewhere. And again, there are things to find where where uh, th things are used. I think it's something like who references. Oh, there it is. There we go. So um, there it's referenced, and there it's referenced. But who initializes it? Oh, was it just initialized in globals? I bet it was, actually. Yeah, it's just done straight off uh, world size there. Idiot. Okay, size. Um, and the FBO, the empty FBO. And I just realized something. This gives me a good excuse to try that thing I was just taught. There we go. So, control meta F. That's weird because I jumped. Oh, wait a second. I get it. So, if I'm outside a form, it's going to jump over the entire list. So, I have to move inside and then I can do control meta F to the end like that. And control meta F back. That's what I need. Nice. He can be taught. He can also fuck things up. What is going on? Um, anyway, empty FPO. <laughs> um, that was called the world empty FPO, so I guess we can just prep for that. Here it is, that's setting in it. <sighs> and 
and that's just make make FBO and we're using the dimensions by size, that's fine. Okay, so we define scene. Scene is gonna, going to, what is it actually gonna do? I mean, it registers a scene, I suppose. Um, register scene. And make scene, um, I suppose it has a name. And it has some values, uh, like size. Oh yeah, but we've got camera position as well. We need to do something with that. Cool. Um, size is like this. Camera position. What else? Body is defined but never used. Oh yeah, now I can ignore that though. Declare. Ignore body. I was only using that for the indentation. Let's see what's going on in chat because I've been ignoring you for long enough. Um, yeah, Shimera says that's the standard semantic forward. I, I must admit, I don't know much properly in any of these systems, but. Um. Yeah, I'll be interested to see, uh, Chimera, how good the uh, Rust compiler gets. They've got that non-lexical lexical, ah, non lifetimes landed recently. Um, but again, I, I'm not sure how much that changes day-to-day -day programming right now. I mean, it's still... Yeah, I mean, there are, there are algorithms where you want properly cyclic graphs, and that might... This sounds like it was a bit of a bitch to do, but yeah. Traits are neat, but they are so fucking far from a proper, proper object system, it pains me so much. I, traits are actually one of the things I really like. That and type class is kind of that, that area. Like, I, I'm really down with that. But then again, I, I'm not a, a user of the object system unless pretty much at all. Um, I use, like, basic methods and that's about it. Um... Let us prepare to scene graph in Duff. There will not be a scene graph in anything that I do. They will, they're in my 3D stuff, I'll have a space graph, which defines the relationship between spaces, and things can be in a space, but you, I, don't, I, hate, I hate the idea of having everything in a scene graph. It just fights so hard against the kind of, the kind of thing, operations you want to do while rendering with batching and things like this. Ugh. I guess the idea of a scene graph is this one place where stuff lives. It's just black. Anyway, uh, oh, man, there's lots of chatter. I love this. Um, it should work for all cursors, but it'll ask the first time if you'd like it, like it to be that way. Yeah, I don't remember being asked that about forward white space, though, but I'm glad the, um, yeah, that semantic forward thing I really liked. That's nice. Um... Cheers, Shamir. I'll do that after the stream. I'll check those lists. That's exactly the information I wanted to know as well. It's perfect. Um, Tom Dom saying, traits in Rust are really two things. Uh, the one is that they are used as constraints on the parameters, the type parameters in generics. The other is to have interfaces that are raised type information and visible to, as, and are implemented as V tables. Mm. Interesting. Karam is saying, interesting how everyone here is a polyglot, no CL, only diehards. Sergeant Queef, good evening, sir. Um, 
Yeah, the polyglot thing, I think it's just, you know, like, we like languages. Languages are cool. Like, I don't think you can stay in Lisp if you don't like having different languages around because you end up making so many through macros anyway. Um, I don't know. That's really biased. I can't say I can't say that. For me, it's totally true. I'm I'm I am interested in the in the interfaces between languages, not a single language that does everything I need. Um that yeah, some that does everything I need. Some potential language because I don't think that exists. It's it's, it's nah. defies logic. Right. So, world dimensions is viewport dimensions. We're not using this, so we don't need this anymore. Um, it's time to go and do some cleanup because we made some changes. Let's go and grep for anything that's got world in it. Okay, so there, yeah, there is a world size and we're getting the height of that. So this is going to be um, Y of um, size of a scene at some point. Um, that means we need to get a scene from somewhere. Let's, for now, go with the idea that there'll be a current scene. <sighs> Do we want that? I mean, we don't need the dynamic uh, scoping aspect of that. In fact, I don't want the dynamic scoping aspect of that, but it might be okay to help us get started. Or we just pass a scene in. Yeah, we just pass a scene. But let's uh, let's do that, and then we can tr trace this back to where it actually comes from. So scene actor kind. Um, what are you complaining about? Size. So all of these. Um, learn, Chris. Learn. There we go. Ah, um, uh, nope, nope. <laughs> Not there yet. Okay, forward and then, ah, fuck it. <laughs> so close, right. And then it was, yeah, control minute back. Sure, now I can just jump and do the stuff I normally do. There we go. Um, oh dear. It's got to be painful to watch for people to actually know how to use Emacs. It's just, what is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Um, yeah. Sure. Uh, malformed. What have I fucked up? What have I fucked up? Yeah, I don't know how I cocked that up. Anyway. <laughs> Let's not do this properly now because it's getting slow. Uh, I'm still going to keep practicing it. Just depends how much it annoys me. Right, so we get the size should be fine there now as well. Screen height in game units. Um, that's a separate thing actually. So I think we're going to leave that as it is for now. Um, the idea of encapsulating the interface with the user, maybe, but. It's what, not what we need right now. Um, I'm seeing another world-related thing here, which is the empty FBO. Um, which is the empty FBO of FOB? No, FBO of scene. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a... Oh yeah, it's complaining that there isn't a scene. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and I've just noticed some other things as well. This is just all a bit gross. So let's take actor kind, let's move it up here. Um, let's take the count, let's get rid of actor because it's rubbish. And let's do that. Let's look at where this is called from. This is the scene. Um, so we're going to pass in the scene. We're going to pass in the actor kind. Uh, we're going to pass in the count. We're going to pass in the cube stream. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's now going to complain that this has the wrong number of arguments. Because now it takes a scene first. And now it's going to bitch that there isn't a variable scene, which is correct. And up here, um, we don't need scene or anything here. Let's just look if there's any other use of world. 
There's world size again, which is the size of the scene now. Um, we can go and update that pipeline later. I don't need to worry about that naming just now. Um, yeah. No. Um, what was that argument? This frames access is defined but never used. That seems wrong. Really? Hold on. Uh, this is in update. What have I broken? This frames actors used to be in. Oh yeah, we used to be getting an actor out of it. That's rubbish. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Cool. Okay. Um, what next? Yes, we need to pass the scene in. So we're drawing actor kinds um, in a scene. We're just going to keep propagating this along. Um, oh, come on, fingers. Okay, so draw actor kinds is in step engine. So the engine needs to know roughly that we're in a scene. So we'll do this. Um, oh yeah, the, the variable is undefined. That makes sense. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do scene here and say current scene. And we'll pass it down. This variable doesn't exist yet. We're going to go make it in globals. We still need to deal with all these, so let's go carry on going through. So grep world empty FBO. Oh, it's only defined. Excellent. So world size is here. Um, nice. That's not anywhere except um, yeah. Here and here, world viewport is used here. So we can get rid of that. And this is going to be um, the viewport of the scene, which means this now takes a scene, um, which means whoever calls Gen Collision Detect. And collision texture uh, has to take a scene. Okay, make act a kind. A bit worried about this one actually. Yeah, so that's a bit of a bummer, maybe? Let's have a look. Scene, because um, making an act a kind, they're not bound to a scene, are they? Maybe they are. Maybe that's where we put all these. Um, maybe we have a set of actors per scene. The thing is then, like, if you have 20,000 actors in one scene and you switch scenes, that doesn't deallocate any of those. So I suppose we need a switch scene that deallocates and a switch scene that doesn't. Then actually you can use scenes for more things. That, maybe that's a good idea. Um, Jane Collision takes a, takes a scene. Yeah, interesting. I'm not too sure about this. Scenes propagating all over the place in kind of strange ways, but um, see, it's down here now, which means this needs to take a scene. Go away. Um, let's look at who does this. See, this is done in a bunch of places. Yeah, now it needs spawn is. You spawn into a scene. Well, that kind of makes sense. In fact, that might make a lot of sense soon. Um, but spawn is spawn is user code. So I think that current. Hmm. Yeah. 
I think current scene is going to become pretty useful pretty soon. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so... Because we have this um, hash table here of actor kinds. So if we have um, a thing which says that we have a different hash map of these for each scene, that could be kind of cool. As long as the same god worked in each one. I don't think we want different gods for different scenes. Um, I mean, there's no right answer here. Um, hmm. It would be kind of cool to put the actor kind stuff in the in the scene. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, that depends a lot on where this is used in my head though. So, it's used a lot of places. Um, oh no, that's uh, not quite right. There we go, use these places. What I'm interested in is it during definition. So update actor kinds, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's no biggie. The get actor kind by name, yeah, that's gonna use it. Um, that's fine, and it's already gonna take a scene. Um, this is collision detection stuff, which could take a scene, that would be fine. Debug stuff, yeah. I mean, again, we would use the current scene in that case. Globals. Yeah, okay. Let's go for it. Let's uh, let's say that the scenes own... Where are we at? Uh, quarter past nine. One of those days. One of those days. Um, designing takes time. All right. Um... Yeah, we'll take the kinds. We'll just have a kinds uh, hash table in here. And in it form um, will be make hash table. And accessor is going to be kinds. And we don't need to have an init arg for that. I think that's fine. Then we are about to get rid of this. We now can go through and uh, actually delete it from places. So let's remove it from here. Yep. We go here. Update actor kinds for a given scene. That's so we'll take kinds from the scene. Uh, scenes we used this a couple of times. Let's just go with slots kinds for scene. Wrap that around everything. Um, yes, this is now kinds. Kinds. Actually, what I should do is I should go and inspect this and unbind it because we don't want we want it to actually throw an error if it's not if it's being used somewhere where it shouldn't be. Oh, but it didn't. You fucker. Oh well. We're now here. And yes, there are ways in uh, Emacs where we can search, do a search and replace based on a grep and all that kind of thing. Know how to do them, but I'm not going to do them now because I really want to think about where I'm where I'm doing stuff. Um, so we do kinds from the scene. Oh, one second. Did we do that right before? Yeah, we did. Okay, fine. Um... Take the kinds from the scene, which means this is now going to take scene. Um, which means this now needs to take scene. I think a lot of these things are going to get updated as well. Update actor kinds takes a scene. Um, let's go to actor kind again. This get 
Oh, right, yeah. Back to kind by name, that actually makes sense. Um... Okay, again, with, with, with slots, kinds, scene. Cool. to that pretty soon because this is get actor kinds by name um let's add a scene to this one and yes it is it is going to be scene okay so now both of these places want um scenes passed in so we are just going to say Scene is current scene. I'll do that. Scene. Scene. And the reason I'm now going to be relying on this uh, dynamic variable is this is in the user API and they shouldn't be passing scene objects around. We're going to bind this dynamically um, further down the stack and they're going to have that available. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, and again, this is going to be uh, with slots. Kinds. Um, no. Current scene. Fair enough. Okay. So that's a bunch of changes. Were they a good idea? Who knows? Oof, that's a lot of stuff that's building up there. Um. But we're slowly killing away all these globals, so that's that's good. That's the, that was the goal. We threw a bunch of stuff here, and now we've got to we've got to kill them all. Um, oh yeah, that's another thing to do. To do um, change from uh, cube to quad. We really don't need to be using a cube every time we draw something pointless. Um, let's, uh, let's catch up with you folks. Okay. Sergeant Queef hasn't been around for a while. No, you haven't. It's good to have you back, man. Um, life. Yeah, life will do that. It's a bugger. Oh, I'm glad you're spending your free time here, man. That's really nice. Um... Okay, Grams, uh, was speaking about how, um, yeah, likes the idea of CL a lot, but a lot of the time with the libraries, you get something, everything, you, every library you pick leaves something to be desired, which, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a tricky one. Again, we don't have as large a community, so, yeah, a lot of those kind of, the, la <laughs> the last 80% after the first 80% doesn't tend to get done as much, um, Yeah, MC, like, McClim or whatever it's called. I don't know how you meant to say that. I suppose it's McClim. Um, is uh, slowly being revived. I'm interested, but it is... Uh, it's very... Uh, 70s looking. But I'm I'm glad they're putting in the effort. I wouldn't mind some to, for, for like it's the kind of thing I would again I wouldn't ship code that look like uh, apps that look like that to anyone. But I could use it for my own stuff if it's really flexible, really easily like really easy for me to throw together a UI in two seconds. Then I'll probably use it. But to be honest, for my GL stuff, I'm going to be using Nuclear, and that's got enough for me. It kind of looks like ass, but not as much ass as that. I don't know. 
UI, actually, AKKRM, like, UI is a problem in general. Like, even, like, use Python. Like, there is not a, like, well, last time I was using that, it was a struggle. Like, no matter which way you picked, it was like, okay, I'm going to use GTK. And then you want to do something on Windows. And then you're looking at, like, GTK on Windows, which looks like ass. And then it was like, okay, maybe I'll use Q QT's come a long way since I last used it. But it's still a, kind of a, it's got a heavy weight to it. Um... Like say the stuff we did at Fuse, we're trying to make that feel good. Took a long time. Um, yeah, it, it like UI is just hard, and there is very little good open source UI. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just realized I'm wearing my Fire Chris t-shirt still. Yeah, uh, old joke at work, uh, basically. So, yeah, at some point I, I started just getting fired. Uh, and I got fired about, I don't know, easily 20 to 30 times a day. Um, to the point where we went, we were on, like, we're in Canada so do, like doing product sales and they're getting other people to fire me and stuff like this. So it, it, it's been a long time. Um, and because I'm actually leaving soon to start doing games, I've taken to wearing this because, you know, it seems appropriate in my last two weeks <laughs> to get fired. Um... Darius is asking about UI from Lispworks. Man, I just can't... I, I, I'm... The support must be fantastic for those, uh, for it to be worth it to use those proprietary lists because they are just a pain in the ass. Um, a few times I've tried to do anything with them, like, it's like, unless you want to spend thousands of pounds straight out the gate, I can't even load Keppel. It like, I was like, oh, we don't give you enough, like, memory to be able to load a decent project and see how it's going to perform. So, fuck it. Like, what a waste. Sorry, Rage. Um, what else? Should we try and do another complete rebuild and get what we've got working? Uh, scene is going to get everywhere, though. Um, where does scene get created? We should actually bodge that for now. Just so we've got something. Um, we need something in, in it. I am so distractible today. Let's just do... Unless, um, current scene, make scene... Um, size is 2048 by 2048. Hey, we actually hard-coded this shit all over the place before. We should look this up. Um, camera position is... Uh, zero, zero. It's a good point, actually. Like, uh... Make scene? This makes an instance of scene. Well, we haven't got register scene and define scene and stuff like that, so. Uh, define register scene. Def uh, scenes. Ugh. A cache table. Register scene takes a scene. What are we gonna do? We're gonna say set f get hash um, name of scene maybe. It's a good point. What do we do with this name? Like nothing. Oh, apparently we pass it in here. Well, this function doesn't take a name, so let's name name and yeah means we need this. And, okay. Hash name of scene um, in scenes, and then we're going to replace it with the scene that we got passed, and then we're going to have to um, 
announce scene. Um, actually, no, we'll just do it in register scene. The important thing is if it's the current scene, we're going to have to do stuff. Um, so when EQ, uh, the name of the current scene is the same as the name of the um, scene, then we've just replaced the current scene. Um, and we're going to have to update current scene. That, because that might matter. Actually, we're going to have to update scene regardless. Um, Yeah, this is interesting. If it's already there, then we're going to have to do something slightly different because we're going to need to migrate the information out of the old scene into the new one uh, because it's going to have the kinds, for example. So we need... Uh... This thing is get hash uh, name of scene in scenes. That should get any current scene that's already in there. And then we need to set up the kinds of our new scene with the uh, kinds in the existing scene. And then we can apply this in place. Don't know if that's a good idea. Um, we'll deal with that later. Just needed some code there. And at the end, we're going to return the scene. Cool. So for now, we're just fudging this because we're not using define. So we're going to register scene. This scene's going to be called test scene. Uh, it's going to call test like that. We're going to register it and then we're going to set up the current scene. We will come back to this and make some kind of sense out of it later. In it pans, this SSBO is used for something. This is used for collision information. I think we can share that between all scenes because only one scene is going to be current at a time, so we don't have to worry about that. The cube stream is going to be replaced, so we don't need to worry about that either, so that's fine. So we're going to have a current scene. Let's just see what breaks. Can't be waiting all day. Waited enough already. So um, let's just see if we can get past the basics. Actually, we will do a verbose. In a minute. Oh, I'm seeing some uh, slight dips in frame rate there. That was interesting. In uh, sorry, in upload rate. Just getting some uh, some good uh, tips in the chat that you can look in the logs eventually. Um, Chimera is talking about just uh, advice on um, going back to certain points in history from Quicklisp, which is very cool. Um, saying well, always nice and surprised, like always surprised how nice and gentle of a person Zach is when I mean he's lovely. Um, Zach is, yeah. Zach's just such a fucking hero. Like I I would not be using. <laughs> I would not be using Common Lisp um, without Quick Lisp. I mean, I just wouldn't have got anywhere. I wouldn't have known how to get like so many things set up. My mate got me set up with Emacs and Lisp in the first place, and I and I bought a copy of um, Land of Lisp. But without that setup, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have had anything done. Um... Oh yeah, we've already done that. Um... Fuck it. Let's just uh, let's just see what happens when we. Really? I was gonna say I didn't didn't think that would work. Oh yeah, make scene is undefined. Of course. Wait a second. We've actually haven't added this to the build. Um... 
This is going to need to be pretty early. We can probably stick it. Let's just see what we can do. Let's do this. Um, source scenes. Scenes. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. I don't know why I compiled that, but I always do. Um, now we're going to have to go to that file because everything's going to be broken. Daft source scene scenes. Just compile everything. What? I fucked something up. <laughs> yep. Something just got screwed. There is no way that should be crashing on that. Oh, oh, actually, look at the amount requested. Holy fuck. Holy oh fuck. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing that... <laughs> oh god, what happened here? Look at that. Ensure this index. Better make sure we have that much space in the index of, ma of uh, structs. Big structs. Oh, what did I do? Ugh, I'll have to go and look at that another time. We're not going to try and fight that on the stream. Anyway, let's uh, let's pretend that didn't happen and uh, start again. ASDF, let's load with noise. Warning, 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 UIOP is complaining. That's just so annoying. I try to ship all of my projects without any style warnings. Um, it's a bit of a bummer that there are. I, need, I can go and fix the ones probably in SDL. Except for this, Undefined Alien is kind of unavoidable in some cases. Um, the fact that SD, like CLSDL2 like, has a dependency on Swank is also kind of annoying. Um, oh, here we go, here's a proper bug. Um, register scene. Kinds when called with nil. Um, oh yeah, I know what I've done. Existing. When existing. Dumbass. Um, okay. Well, we'll just have to accept that, I guess. It's odd, because it was almost as if we've got a... Um... Oh, yeah, we do. We have a defined scene here. Actually, rather than doing that, we'll do hash plus nil. It's good as a comment, but we can recompile it whenever we want. Um... Right, let's see if we can get this crashing in a different way. Here we go. Wait, what? I thought I just fixed you. Did I not recompile it? I must have. Let's abort that and try again. Valid number of arguments. Here we go. Get actor by name. Yep, that's correct. Because um, it now takes a scene and God, who is another actor, an actor kind. Um, we have to look at the fine actor kind. Whoops, sorry. Um, get actor kind by name is now going to take a scene. And that scene for now is going to be because spawn is part of the public API. We're just going to use current scene. Um, we'll abort, because I would like to restart this uh, request each time. That makes sense, because we, re we redefined a macro, but we re didn't recompile the use of that macro. So we do this. We can say abort and start again. Okay, so now it's complaining that this is not a number, which is a fair complaint. That is not a number. Um... Something is calling greater than on. Uh... Yeah, something's passing something stupid to texture dimensions. Here we go. Um... Back in our code, make actor kind. Um, something called make texture. Yeah, gen collision texture, that would have been. And it used, oh, it uses the viewport for the scene as the dimensions? No, it uses the size of the scene for the dimensions. Abort. It's 
somebody else. Uh, Reinit all actors of kind. Here we go. Actually, let's just go on a big search for this. Okay. Um, run collision checks. This is going to need to take a scene. That's good. Oh, um, that already passes scene. That should be passing scene now. This is not passing scene. And it isn't doing that because it doesn't know what scene to do it to. So, reunit all actors of kind. Where is that used? That's used. Actually, used a bunch of places. Um, actually, I'm going to punt for now and we're going to use scene, but we're going to take it from uh, current scene. And we'll just have to make do and we'll see how that goes. Error uh, during printing. The slot daft visual is unbound in instance of god kind. That's interesting. Because we've got um, define actor kind. Oops, sorry. Jumping around here. Dev class. We inherit from actor kind, which has visual. So, oh, it's, oh, sorry, it's unbound. It's not, it isn't present. It's just unbound. Okay. Um, then that's a good point. That means we're not um, setting that up correctly. <laughs> Where is that um, draw actor kinds? So when we made an instance. Yeah. Can we just get away with... Um, giving them all nil. Let's see what's going on over here. Sergeant Queef saying actually ripping out as much as possible from my Emacs config nowadays. Trying to use as much vanilla as I can without going insane. Yeah, I, but I, I actually need to learn some of that stuff. There's a there's a really nice um, package it seems for, for managing a lot of that um, Emacs config stuff and I can't remember what it's called. Um, probably called use config or something like this. I can't remember, but it's uh, yeah. I need to learn how to use that. It's all these things. It's kind of like once you get a config set up, it's like I don't need to touch this. This feels nice now, but I know I'm missing out on some things that will be kind of cool. Um, <laughs> what color scheme am I using? One of the stock boring ones. Uh, I know I know the answer to this. Customize. Um, themes. Wheatgrass. There we go. Use package. Thank you. Yeah, that's the one. Use package. I need to... The blackness in the top right corner is making me anxious. Yes, the void. This is our failure just manifest right there. Um, what time is it? we got 20 minutes left. Awesome. We'll get it running again. That's what we'll do for the rest of the stream. Just get this back running. Commit it. And then I'm going to carry on off stream working on this stuff because I really need it ready for... Uh, for Friday. Well, yeah, it's Saturday, to be honest. I'm not going to start doing the game until Saturday. And as I haven't heard anything from you on um, whether I should stream it, I just won't. Um, unless you want to chip in sooner and say. But yeah, this is interesting. Um... Kind of interesting is error during printing. Anyway, this is the thing. We were trying to get the visual out of it. Um, and we're saying when visual. Okay, then that means that we're fine with it being nil. That's fine. Visual is in it form nil. Um, when is visual set though? Set of it's, it's gonna be in a define, isn't it? Visual, let's have a look. Set of visual, when visual, yeah. Ah, but that's interesting. No, 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 no. There was a reason I didn't just have that initialized to nil. And the reason was I wanted it to, to know that this thing had been set up properly. 
which it always is if the init methods are called, but they were not. That should have been done here, but it should also be done when the actor kind is, when the uh, thing is created. So when an actor is, when an actor kind, how does that happen? Um, actor? Uh, one of those bits is just not happy with this. Okay, make actor kind, get um, actor kind by name. So, yeah. We make an instance with a bunch of stuff. We call reinit kind like immediately on it. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go to define. And it's going to set up on that thing the visual, the Wait though, that's not right either. Because this is only gonna load, it's gonna load, like when there is a visual, load the visual. But that's no good. So when was this happening before? Was this happening in, oh no, wait, I'm an idiot. This is happening at um, macro expand time. So yes, this is when there is a visual argument um, on define kind, basically when when we specify visual here, that's when it's going to um, include this code. Um, so yeah, that's it. All right, fine. We just needed to call reinit kind. Then the question is, why do we do this here? And I suppose it's that we only need to do this once and we need to do this lots of times. But making the FBO, actually recreating that and the sampler might become more frequent when we start redefining the scene because the sizes will change um yeah so that's interesting so god again and define that no complaints there if we expand him we can see that visual is nil so visual is going to be set to nil but that is going to be called now um but where are we with our um where's our sl sldb um this actor kind as a we need to grab it. This is actually one of my favorite features with uh, debugging in in common list, but I just I miss it everywhere else. You have watches and all that kind of stuff in other languages, but if you just if you do alt or meta and and uh, hit return when you've got um your cursor over one of these um, presentations, like you can just do that, and it's going to why did that not move? God damn it! I was trying to show something off there. I thought that would move it into the. Uh... Oh, it's not moving it to the REPL because of the printing error. That's really strange that it's having a printing error either. Okay, let's let's. Uh... <laughs> Fuck you for showing up my thing. So print object name is really is name not defined in there either. Name is unbound. God damn it! How did that happen? I thought that was defined for all of them now. That's really interesting. We did define actor kind. We did actor kind. Where is it? Here. We inherit from act. Oh, and we don't fucking set its name. We do that here. In it form name. Okay, yeah, sure. All right, then that's a good enough reason. That makes sense. All right, so retry. It's gonna freak out. Um, name is unbound in God. What? Um, yeah, just continue. I think that's an old error. <laughs> Visual is un unbounding God. Well, that also, that, that, uh, no, that doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, this is, this was the thing I wanted to do. So, the thing that I like is you can do Alt-Enter, and that kicks it down here into the REPL. 
which then means you can just shove it in a variable and start playing with it. And I use this all the time in debugging. Um, a function fails and it's passed some arguments, so I just kick the arguments over and store them in some variables, and then I can just test that function again and again right there. And then once I've got it fixed, I just say continue and everything works. I love that. Love it. Right, so anyway, temp0 now has this uh, actor got in it. And his visual is unbound. And he's not going to have one, um, but we want to do reinit uh, kind on god. That should be it. And now if we uh, look at that object, let's just go and inspect it, we should find that his visual is nil. So now it's been set up correctly and we can say continue. And now it isn't broken, which is nice. Um, and then hopefully, well, ne well no. It's going to break again in a second, but we'll um, we'll try something first. We'll do this, and yeah, nothing happened. So that's not good. <laughs> um, oh, not stop every time! God damn it, Chris! Yeah, so that isn't playing ball. It doesn't matter. We'll have it in a minute. Nobody's Lemons is saying, I've been thinking about how to add restarts and conditions to that newfangled red language. I have not heard of that. Rebol stuff is so weird, and I have no idea about Rebol. Tell me about that. I'd love to hear about it. Um, oh, yeah. Sure, I was saying, oh, hey, it's the classic everything breaks in the last 20 minutes. Yeah, but this time slightly different. In, uh, like, I, I've had it broken all stream, which is really enjoyable. Um... Yeah, I don't feel bad about these breakages. This just feels... How it would do. I know what that is. I just was thinking about that a second ago. If we go and look at uh, the fine actor kind, when we do that uh, reinit um, kind stuff, the last thing that will actually gets returned is wh whatever this value is. When what we really want to return is the kind. Um, and the reason that's important is the place that this is called right now is in. Uh, Just in those places? I thought it was in init as well. Oh, that's a good point. That's another thing that we've broken. Init. Um, we... Oh no, we're only making a scene here, aren't we? I'm making a scene. Um, yeah, this... When you make an act of kind, it re-inits it and returns the result. And it, I was expecting that to be the kind, but it was one. So this is buggered as well. But I'm gonna... I'm just gonna keep on killing the session because... Right now, it does not matter. I want a full clean start all the way, and then we can check it in. This is still, you know, it's still not C++, which is nice. AK Graham saying, it sounds like scripture. Name is unbound in God. Yes. In the beginning, there was the word. Yep. And it was the word was meant to move upon the surface of the water, but it didn't move because the person who coded God was an idiot. A hairy idiot who just does streams. Did I really not save that file? I didn't save that file. Fuck. So good at this. Um, da, 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 da. <laughs> sure, I say Packers should get a bird cam too. No birds. Um, oh man, if I had rats. Back in the day, I had a load of rats. We could have a rat cam. Oh, that'd be so cute. That'd be lovely. Um,. Nope. Wrong machine. What am I clicking? Oh no. It'll be fine. Come on. In package. Daft. Oh. Okay. So far, not broken. Um, there's the broken. Yes. Okay. Well, this makes a lot of sense.
yeah. Okay, so the size of the scene was meant to be a vector. Okay, scenes. Size. Okay, um, that make that vector. Make viewport does take it as a list, so that's fine. Here it's going to be fine as a list, so that's okay. Um, so what we'll do, seeing as we're passing in that scene, is we'll go into it. We'll go look at its size. Yes, set value, and we're going to just do B two four eight two four eight. Is that how I do that? Oh, you fucking idiot! Right, okay. Um, use a symbol anyway. Yeah, nice, good. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, continue. All right. Fuck yeah. That'll do. That will do. Okay, right. Finally. So we... What did we actually achieve? Um, well, we can actually check the to-do to see what we've achieved. Um, to do, to do, to do, to do. Okay, so um, we deleted protocode before, we just hadn't removed the to do for it. Um, clean ups. Great name, Chris. It's almost like we're doing this on a stream or something. Um, actually, we can just do this. Move visual talk out to the actor. Um, Etc. Now take the kind, not a single actor. Um, added scene. Um, this is still work in progress, but we'll old or be old. World stuff. Um, and it just looks wrong unless I do that. Um, Yeah, I guess that's all we did so far. Oh, well. Ah, uh, okay. Could not remove from a repository because of internet issues. Ah, fine, fine. We'll deal with that soon. Okay, where are we now? 54. Oh, that's perfect timing for me to break everything. Um, nobody's even saying they are homo iconic languages highly inspired by Lisman. Fourth, no parens. Uh, Something normies like it. Oh dear. Uh, the way you define macros is a lot more quoting, unquoting, and injecting. Kind of like um, F experts, but less hairy. Interesting. Oh, a lot less quoting and unquoting. Interesting. I think it has to do with their plan to use it as a full stack language in the sense that you can do high and low level programming in the same lang mostly. It supports system level programming through a mostly similar language called Red System. Hmm, interesting. Shin, don't go die. I'll miss you. Um, native pointer support stuff. That's interesting, man. I'll, I'll have to have a peek at that at some point. Um... Some of that low-level stuff reminds me of a project that I really want to do in Lisp as well. It's just like, oh, that's a that's a problem for another day. We've got five minutes left. I really shouldn't break anything, but I, I'm kind of tempted to. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I was saying, I missed you too at ELA. See how much that changed? Yeah, jack shit, but, you know. Um, okay, so, come on now, to do. What are we going to do with the scenes? We need an API for moving between them. We need, um, so, defun change scene, I guess we'll just take a scene name, um, and then we'll go and get that scene. From scenes, um, we'll 
assert there actually is a scene for now. We'll give it a decent error another time. Ha ha. Um, actually, I'm pretty good at coming back and fixing up error messages, but still. And then we uh, set f the current scene to the scene. I guess that's that's one way of doing it. Um, what is actually cool now is we should be able to look up and look in. What was it? Current scene. And there is a scene in there, which does have the FBO and all that stuff. That is kind of cool, actually. I'm quite happy about that. Um, so I guess in the same way that we define God, we can define a, a, the uh, default scene. Um, he wrote .exe. What the hell has happened to my head? Good grief. Um, define scene scratch. No, I can't call it. I can just call it scratch. The scratch scene um, is going to be actually it's going to be this one. No, unhandled memory fault. I know what that is. That is because. Um, we are making FBO here. When we compile that, it's going to be compiled not necessarily on the REPL thread, um, which means that it's going to be on the wrong thread for GL. So we actually want to delay doing this. Um, we need a, when you get a scene, we, so we need to make sure that people don't just um, query scenes by talking to the hash table, of course. Um, get rid of this. Defun get scene. Um, let me just call it scene. Scene name. Uh, get hash. Scene name from scenes. Ensure initialized. Def method ensure initialized. Object is a scene, and we are going to just go and um, this is going to be nil to begin with. Then we're going to have to go with slots, um, empty FBO of the object, then um, unless. The empty FBO is already populated, then set f the empty FBO to be this. That means we're costing an if every time, but we can make this, we can clean this up another time. Uh, we'll also need the size, which will already be set, so that's okay. Um, now we should be able to do this, and it doesn't fail. Um, but when we go and inspect scenes, we'll see that there is a scene called scratch, and it's um, empty FBO is nil. And if we bring up the REPL and say scene um, scratch, it freaks out. The function scene is undefined. What are you talking about? What is your quest? Um, okay. Apparently I didn't do that. That's a DB. Come on now. Oh, not that one. That's a DB. Um, retry calling scene. And it exploded! When defining an empty FBO, there can be zero, one attachment, declarations, um, its present name must be nil. Yes. What did I provide? But that looks right. What did I do? Ah, this is actually a bad error message. It's freaking out because this is invalid. This should have been as a list. Ugh. Okay, so, um... <sighs> right. If we did the viewport and we got the, um... Dimensions from the... Oh, yeah, that's interesting, actually. Um... Dims... Let 
dims be viewport dimensions of the viewport. Um, then that will be as a list. We'll do continue and I'm actually going to try this again and see if we get an Oh, ah, <laughs> that just made an FBO and didn't return the scene, which is my classic mistake, it seems. OBJ. Now we get the scene. And if we come back over here, empty FBO now has the FBO set up in it. So assuming that that, that was called from the right thread, which it, again, is the public API, it should be. Um, and the reason I can be fairly sure of that is that well, I can be sure of that is we define it's only valid to do these kind of calls inside actors. Um, if you're inside an actor, that's only gonna this code's only gonna run on the correct engine thread, so that's only gonna happen on the right thread. So that's fine. Um, so let's do that. Um, default scene and and uh, fix define scene. Um, previously. Uh, recompiling code. Attempt to make the um, FBO from the wrong thread. Also, um, oh yeah, we don't need to do that because that was a bug that we introduced while fixing this, so it's fine. Cool, so I'll push that afterwards as well. Groovy, that does take us to time, and since I started a couple of minutes late, I'm happy to start to finish a couple of minutes late as well. Um, thanks everyone for turning up. Uh, I've got time for a few questions, or anything like that, comments, blah, 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 blah. And I'll, um, otherwise, I will see you all next Wednesday, hopefully with a game. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be doing a, a little implementation of Bomberman. Um, and we're mostly, I, I have most of the stuff in here already for what I need. Like, Bomberman is a beautifully separated game. It actually fits this actor model really well. Um, both of the players are going to be actors. Um, every piece of terrain, so all of the um, floor tiles will be actors. They're going to be static actors. They're actually something we haven't added yet. But what's going to be possible is if you take an actor like Bullet, for example, and you make a tile, and we'll do floor, um, get rid of these. If you have an actor which doesn't have any um, like implementation body, it's going to be assumed to be a static actor, which means there it'll it'll draw, but there's no updates that need to happen to it other than that. Which means that it can pre-compute its draw list and then never change it, which is awesome. So it's going to be really fast. Um, and then if you go and add code to this, then it will get migrated back to being a regular actor and all the normal stuff that we've got here takes effect. That's going to be cool. That's on my, I think it's on my to-do list. It better be. Static actors. There we go. Yeah. Definitely need that. Definitely. Well, I don't actually need um, cam like the, the ability to move cameras. So we've got all the tiles. The bombs themselves are just an actor that slowly ticks down time and then explodes, like scaling while it does it. So like shaking and stuff. That's really simple. And then it explodes. The explosions are just, um, you just spawn like fire particles up and down from you. All of those can be separate actors that animate themselves. Um, so that's all fine. Uh, if you touch a flame, you just lose a life. So that's fine. All of that kind of stuff works in parallel. Um, there's really very little. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a beautifully simple game. Audio is going to be easy. Um, Text, I'm actually going to go back to episode 25. Oh, yeah, that was really cool. The guy, back in episode 25, we were doing an implementation of, um, what was it? Uh, MSDF, the sign, dis the multiple, ch the multi-channel sign distance field text implementation. Um, I actually, oh, man, I wish my internet was working because I can show you this really embarrassing moment where I, oh, I'll tell you about that in a second. But anyway, the, the uh, we didn't get very far. We got one letter up. Um, but we couldn't do whole streams of text because my um, layout calculations for UBOs and SSBOs were fucked at the time. That's since been fixed and we need to revisit it. But the um, the dude who came up with MSDF turned up in the comments and gave some advice, including the, this particularly embarrassing thing. I had 
So until recently in Vario, I had vector times scalar, but I didn't have scalar times vector. And that was in my head for multiply. But I, I actually, so I've been used to just swapping the two around when I see that there's an issue. I had fucked up something on the stream um, which had a divide in it, and I swapped the two positions. And it's like, oh, it's just so stupid. Like, you can't swap the arguments of a divide and expect to get the same results. I just was autopiloting my way through it, and I did it twice in the stream, and he caught both of them, which was really nice of him. But I just felt like a muppet. So that was cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's something to fix up. But we've got most of the stuff already. This is nearly done. Um, oh, yeah, it's getting there, guys. It's getting there. It's going to be good. Um... see what's going on over here. Infinisol question pizza with or without pineapple? With, obviously. Um, break it all. Do some cleanup. <laughs> Infinisol said do some cleanup and then Shamira said there'd be nothing left. True. True. <laughs> uh, hey, we managed to make a minor change that didn't break everything. That's new, actually. That's always the rhythm. Anyway. Um, da, 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 dims the viewport. Yeah. Um, can someone link the Lisp Game Jam, please? Someone's already done that, I think. No, they haven't. Right, let's do that quickly. Um, Lisp Game Jam. Blah, 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 blah. Right, where are we? There. 2018. Hurry up, Chris. There it is. Things. Right. Good. Um, I'm just going to put this here, seeing that to do. It's something to do with org mode. Magic orc to do's. Yeah, I go. Um, ooh, okay, that's nice. Uh, it integrates into magic. No, that's actually a really bad idea for me. Oh, I don't know, actually. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Thing is, I don't use org mode, so that's probably not going to be any use to me. But that is very cool. Thanks, dude. I will check that out. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's the lot. Thank you so much, folks. I'll catch you next time. I'm on the right machine. I can stop the stream. Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye. <laughs>